47-year-old Jeff Wilson has spent his career serving his country. A retired Master Sergeant in the Air Force, Jeff knows all about perseverance, teamwork, and executing a plan of attack. Those military skills are now helping him with a battle he has never faced before. We discovered that I had uh, what's been diagnosed as a small cell lung cancer. And then my initial MRI on my brain was negative. There was nothing there. But one day Jeff blacked out and doctors determined the cancer had spread from his lung to his brain. Once the picture of health, Jeff and his family now fight this disease together. The important, single most important person in the whole, is my wife. Because she has the hard part. You know, her husband is sick and that's difficult. Jeff is undergoing chemotherapy for lung cancer, but he is trying a different approach to destroy his brain tumor, a treatment called stereotactic radiosurgery. Stereotactic radiosurgery is when we give a large dose of radiation and a single treatment to treat a benign or malignant tumor. Right, you're in. Here we go. This treatment is not new to Emory, but a new machine with an improved method of delivery is. Called the Trilogy, the machine delivers higher doses of targeted radiation to smaller areas with even more precision than before. The focused beams mean less radiation to normal tissue around the tumor. Before treatment begins, Emory Radiation Oncologist Dr. Ian Crocker plans the method of attack with neurosurgeon Jeffrey Olson. Combining a CT scan and an MRI of the patient's brain, the doctors customize a treatment plan for Jeff's brain tumor. An onboard imager takes pictures immediately before treatment to make one final check for proper targeting. The radiation beam is like a knife and we can direct it uh, very accurately to tumors uh, you know, deep within the head. The accuracy of this machine is under half a millimeter. With this therapy, only one treatment is needed and the patient stays awake. In about 20 minutes, Jeff's treatment is complete. Want to that one? No, not at all. A follow-up brain scan in about a month will determine the success of this treatment. When I have a, an army of supporters, and uh, that's uh, certainly very important too. For Emory, this is Rhonda Rowland.